Please start by preparing the workspace. Use sheets or cardboard in the area used for assembling the unit. Heavy items must be carried by two people. Carefully open the box. If you must use a sharp tool, take your time. Avoid accidentally damaging your furniture. Remove panels from boxes and store them against the wall or put them on the floor. In the box, you will find printed instructions and parts. It is important to make sure the parts in the box match the parts in the printed instructions. Get familiar with your parts. We recommend marking each panel with a sticky note and separately counting bolts, screws, and caps. The printed instructions will also tell you what tools you may need, such as a hammer or screwdriver. Locate the area requiring installation of cam lock and screw. Insert cam screw into the hole provided and then tighten. If using an electric drill, please set to medium power. It is important to not insert the cam screw too deeply. Look for a marker on the cam screw. Screw in until the marker meets the surface of the panel. Insert cam lock into the hole provided on the panel. Please note, the cam lock arrow must face the direction of the cam screw. Slide panels together. To lock, insert screwdriver and turn clockwise until tight. Place panel D on the floor. Insert cam screws into holes provided on panel and tighten it up. Repeat process with second panel D as well as panel B and C. Slide panels B and C together and lock cam until tight. While one person is holding B and C panels, have second person bring panel D, slide panels together, and lock cams. Slide panel E into the middle part of panel D and lock cams. Secure the wall support brackets on top of panel A. Slide panel A into panel D and lock cams. Using second D panel, close the frame and lock cams. For installation of the four F panels, flip the assembled A, B, C, D, and E panels face down. Insert first F panel into slots provided on panels D and B. Make sure first F panel is snugly secured. Then place plastic gasket before inserting second F panel. Check for snug fit and then repeat with F panels 3 and 4. Once all panels are inserted carefully, lift the whole assembly into upright position. Use measuring tape. Carefully note the distance of panel E from the top of panel A. Then walk to the back side and using this measurement you will secure F panels to the E panel by screwing in from the rear. Insert rubber stopper into provided holes on panels D and secure by tightening bolt. Insert hydraulic arms into provided holes on panel D and secure them with bolts. It is important that the 700 Newton hydraulic arms go on the bottom of the unit and that the 350 Newton hydraulic arms go on the top. Secure supporting bars on panel D by tightening bolts. The next step is to mount the frame to the wall. Decide where the unit will be and use the brackets on top of panel A to secure to wall. It is important to properly secure the unit to the wall. Please take care to do so. Once unit is secured, place panel G into hydraulic arms and tighten. Repeat the process with upper panel G. You can identify upper panel by two brackets provided for securing ladder. Once upper panel G is in place, secure both support straps. Secure white curved brackets on both sides of panel L. Place in front of bed and attach to supporting arms on either side of unit. Use part SG01 to secure supporter. Secure white curved bracket to metal bed frame using provided bolts. Use brackets to install ladder. 
you have now completed assembling this unit. Thank you for watching.